What is going on guys? Welcome back to Young and Cool. Today we're looking at top 10 cartoon characters we absolutely hated. At number 10, Lincoln Loud. You may be wondering, what's in it for us if we buy Lincoln that smooch ticket? Well, I'll tell you. A coupon for five Lily diaper changes. He is selfish. He's disgusting. He and his sisters should shut up if they know what is good for them. Why did his hair get bleached? He's a jerk at times. He's terrible to his family. Downright clingy. Lincoln just sucks. <laughs> yeah, you can tell. No one really likes Lincoln. At number 9, Patrick Starr. Hi, Patrick. I despise this idiot. People say SpongeBob is worse, but with this selfish, obnoxious, disgusting, troublemaking, beef brained piece of crap, SpongeBob looks like an Einstein. Patrick is just annoying, one dimensional, and his brain. If he has one, which I don't think he does, just shuts down whenever he has a problem. He just eats something instead, or completely forgets about the problem, even if it's harming his friends. He's also pretty selfish, and acts like everyone around him is a brainless moron, while he is the guy who doesn't even understand two words together. Spongebob should have thrown that abdomination into a fishnet years ago. At number 8, Benson, from Regular Show. Yeah, right. The day I admit you're cool is the day I give you back the cart. But we are cool. No, you're not. Benson Dunwoody is a main character on Cartoon Network's regular show. He's a gumball machine, also known as the park's manager. As the manager, he's the boss of every park worker, with the possible exception of Pops. He has a short temper and has a tendency of yelling at Mordecai and Rigby every time they slack off. Benson made his debut in J.G. Quinnell's animated short 2 in the AM PM, where one of the cashiers, voiced by Sam Martin, transformed into a prototype version of Benson after being drugged from candy. He then made his first appearance in the pilot. In the short film The Naive Man from Lollyland, Prano Pops calls his chauffeur Benson. However, in the film, Benson appears to be a human and not a gumball machine. At number 7, Sunjai from Sunjai and Craig. Papa VJ's from India? The show along with them came at the end of an era where cartoons on TV were actually interesting and funny, and began the era where cartoons were horrible amalgamations of butt jokes and exaggerated amounts of idiosyn to ecstasy for the sake of quote, entertainment. Point is that the show will never be funny to anyone that's over six years old or younger. At number six, SpongeBob. You here for your pre-lunch Krabby Patty? I'm getting two today, one for me and one for my friend. Oh, have I met this friend? Done right. SpongeBob was a statement for optimism and positivity. He tells us that when times are tough, when life gives you a bad time, and people don't treat you right, keep your head up. He inspires us to be positive thinking people that can always look on the bright side. But if you're talking about the newer SpongeBob, then I would really agree that this SpongeBob just we don't like. He is extremely complex, with complex attitudes and actions, opportunistic and intolerant of high levels, and low self-esteem very high. At number 5, Chris McLean from Total Drama Island. Relax, it'll all make sense eventually. <laughs> I absolutely despise Chris McLean. First of all, he's not even funny. Second of all, he is entertained by children being tortured. It seems like every time a kid gets hurt or is in danger, he says, I love my job. Then there's the fact that he has absolutely no concern about his kids getting hurt. Taking the time in TDA, for example, when Owen's jaw broke and he was only worried about getting sued, or when all the kids were stuck in that room of water, about to drown and Chris says something like, oh no, this will kill my ratings. And his challenges are insane. The very first one, in fact, when they could have died in the shark pool. I can't see why people can still like Chris after all he's done. All you people out there who think this jerk is funny, you make me sick. At number four, Vicky from Fairly Odd Parents. Just stand there while I say my line. <clears throat> well, I know. Watch out for that bull, Porfador. Okay, Twerp, now you say ow. Technically, Mr. and Mrs. Turner are the worst characters to me. But the fact that every episode has them leaving Timmy at home with Vicky was funny at first, but became rather disturbing and neglectful over time. Vicky just loves torturing children for no reason whatsoever and has to be evil just because the script demands it. The show itself is bad enough and I can't stand seeing Timmy being tormented every episode. At number three, DW from Arthur. Mom! Mom, Arthur said he'd play confused the goose with me, but he won't. I said maybe, but I have to do home. DW is a spoiled brat. She tries to get Arthur in trouble several times, which mostly fails. She also screams nonstop whenever she sees something that scares her. In one episode, Arthur and his family, including DW, went on a family vacation for spring break. 
and they went to a restaurant where it was fancy. Suddenly, when DW's meal arrived, she saw her least favorite food of all, spinach. She started throwing a tantrum about it and even knocked the bowl of spinach off the table, causing the bowl to break and the spinach made a mess on the floor. His parents should punish her for the behavior. At number two, Dora the Explorer. Dora is the main protagonist in the show, Dora the Explorer. Her main occupation is exploring with her monkey friend, Boots. She's rather creepy, always talking in that slow, unnatural tone, and pausing while staring at us waiting for a response. I hate Dora herself, while her boring Mary Sue personality and her terrible Spanish. I also hate Boots, who has no character developing and is just plain annoying, but my least favorite thing about the show is the map. Once I was watching an episode for no reason at all and they were going somewhere, the map told them Bridge, Jungle, Pyramid, and kept repeating it. I'm 21 now, and I still remember the sequence of Bridge Jungle Pyramid. I'll never forget it. And finally at number one, Mr. Krabs. The first 100 customers who joined Bank of Bikini Bottom Bank will receive instant interest on their deposit. Instant interest? He only cares about money, he has no regard for his employees, and doesn't even pay them, rather than have to pay him, and he does horrible things to people and sometimes gets away with it without getting any consequences. All the while be portrayed as the good guy, while Plankton, who's surprisingly more likable as the bad guy. While there are episodes where Mr. Krabs isn't doing anything nasty and has occasionally shown that he does care about SpongeBob, most of the time he's just a cruel and selfish penny pincher. Any character that is greedy, power hungry, and willing to abuse characters, or condone or laugh about characters that are suicidal, are considered villainous. One course meal made us realize this. Even worse, he always gets in the way in the end. This just makes you want to hate him more. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Young and Cool. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and I would so hit that like button. Comment down below which one you hate the most. Subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.